today um today as we know is president's day and um today is the day that we honor our amazing top-notch presidents um they have led us through the best times and they have led us through the worst times and we should be thankful for that but um i have one question that you have probably never asked yourself would you smash I'm about to do what no American has done or ever will do because no American has had or ever will have the courage to do this. And nobody has more courage than the guy who was a little scared to ask five people to do a street interview. Hey. <laughs> so here's how it's going to work. I'm putting all of the president's names into a uh, randomizer and the randomizer is going to pick president, and at that point I will decide whether or not I will smash or pass. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Let's go! Ooh, who are we gonna get? Oh, John Quincy Adams. Looks like this randomizer knows my weakness. Nothing gets me going more than a guy with a big forehead. Like, like, you could, like a forehead so big you could like, fit another face on it. Ooh. Ugh. So, obviously... Uh, smash on John Quincy Adams. Ooh, who do we got here? Millard Fillmore. Hmm, okay, that guy kind of looks like uh, Alec Baldwin. I bet nobody's made that assumption before. I, I'm pretty sure I'm the first one. Sadly, I'm going to have to go with Pass because he is the 13th president. And, you know, I don't want to get any bad luck, and uh, I already got enough bad luck with uh, John Quincy Adams over there, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> G got him. Ooh. Now we got Richard Nixon, one of the cutest Republican boys. Can definitely say he's gonna make me have a Watergate scandal. Oh, <laughs> if you know, you know what I'm saying. He won't be impeached from the from 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 the, from the bedroom if you're uh, picking picking up my drift. <laughs> so yeah, definite smash. Oh boy. Now we've got a Ronald Reagan. <laughs> what can I, what can I say? He could pass a. New tax plan on me. Yep, yeah, pass. That was not good. Oh, oh my. Bill Clinton. Um, something you may not know about me. I enjoy a fellow who's kind of been around the block, if you, if you know what I'm saying. If you're married and you, you know, go to someone else, you know, that, you know, that's pretty, pretty bold. Pretty, pretty hot. Now, I think we all share the same fantasy, and if uh, Bill Clinton came up to us and he was like, hey, I'm married to Hillary Clinton, but uh, I'd be willing to uh, try some stuff with you. Automatic, yes, a hundred percent. You know how to get any guy or girl. Um, first, you have to be married to Hillary Clinton. Then you have to cheat on Hillary Clinton. You know, huge, huge turn on. You know, so uh, <laughs> yeah, smash. Like, there's any chance that I wouldn't get ready. For the presidential speed round. Yes. Boom. Let's go. George Bush. He can knock down my towers. Smash. Gerald Ford. Pass. Kennedy got shot in the head. Pass. Kennedy got shot in the head. Pass. Roosevelt, I hear he's a rough writer. Smash. Jefferson, he can sign my Louisiana purchase. Uh, oh, that was bad. Pass. Obama, goes without saying. Smash. Lincoln, got shot in the head, so you know. Pass. And now for the most foreheady presidents. And uh, this goes without saying, all of them are smashes. John Adams, John Quincy Adams, Martin Van Buren, John Tyler, James Polk, James Buchanan, Rutherford, Garfield, Grover Cleveland, K 
Calvin Coolidge, Harry Truman, Eisenhower, Gerald Ford, and George Bush. Man, oh man, those presidents are some four heady boys. So now we are on the last one, the uh, 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. And before I decide whether I would smash or pass Donald Trump, I have uh, prepared a statement about Donald Trump. It's my political views on his situation as president. And I'm going to read it right now. Donald Trump is a complete... Welcome. This was our uh, first video of 2018. As you can see, we are no longer sketch comedy. We changed the Room 43 Productions. I announced it a while ago. Where were you? Um, please make sure to elect that like button as president and make the subscribe button his vice president. Thank you. I, that was that was good. Um, we barely make videos, but that will change. Um, see you next time, I guess.